Managing data and quantities in your projects can become complex very quickly. So in this video, we will look at how Sparkle can help you manage your data and quantities effortlessly. We will look at the fundamental building blocks of Sparkle. We will look at tables, then items and elements, and how these all work seamlessly together to make sure you have full control of your data and quantities at all time. So let's start by creating a project. Find this new project button here, click there, give your project a good name, new project, and click create. This is how a new project looks like. So on the left side here, you see you have tables. Tables is how you organize your data in Sparkle. A table can, for example, be concrete works, where you have a list of all concrete works that need to be carried out, or it could be doors, where you have a list of doors, uh, it's just a way of organizing to make sure that you know where to find your data. So let's start creating a new table, simply by clicking plus here. Let's give it a name. Let's call it doors. Click enter. And now we have our new table. Right now, the table is completely empty. As you can see, there's nothing here. So let's populate it. This is where items comes in. Items are the basic fundamental building blocks of Sparkle. This is what carries all the data. So let's start creating a new item. Let's give our item a name. Let's say door type one and click OK. Let's create a new item door type two. OK, so now we have created two items, but they don't contain any data. Uh, now we're going to upload a BIM model and we're going to connect different objects from the BIM model to the items and then you can see the magic happens. To upload a BIM model, simply click the blue plus button right here and select the file that you want to upload. Or you can drag and drop into this panel. So I've now uploaded this model right here and I'm ready to assign elements from this model to my items. So let's see, there's a door here. Maybe this is door type one. Simply what I do, I click select this door and then I click select, let's say door type one and I simply click link. You can now see that this number automatically changed. By default, Sparkle calculates the net area of the elements that have been connected. So in this case, 1.95 should be the net area of this element that I have linked. You can also see here how many elements have been linked to this item. So I hope that you can see how powerful this is. This means that we can connect different parts of our designs to our items and then have full control. It also means that if the elements get updated, let's say there's a new BIM model, then the data will also change automatically. Let's assign a few more doors. It's very useful in Sparkle to use this filter here. So I will choose to hide everything and only show my doors. Now I'm only seeing my doors, but I kind of lost a bit of context. So I'm clicking this button here to kind of show a transparent view of the rest of my uh, model. And now I can use control click drag to select multiple elements like so, and simply click link again. Now I want to assign some other doors to my other door type two here. Simply select door type two, select the elements that I want to link and click link. So this is how you build a very consistent database in Sparkle. So you set it up exactly how you want it to be. You know exactly which items that you have, you know which tables you have, you can add your own data. And that means that all your construction quantities and data will be predictable and will be up to date at all times.